speakpipe.com. All right. Now, another thing you can use it for is audio testimonials. And you can either have them on your website or SpeakPipe will actually give you a page on their site, which uh, I'll tell you what I, I feel about that. And I do want to tell you about the page that we have on their site, which is speakpipe.com slash screw the commute. Yeah. However, if you have a website, you probably want to drive people to your website to leave the voicemail. Now, when they go to speakpipe.com and then slash and then you get to pick the name that you want as long as somebody else doesn't have it you know the whole the whole page is dedicated to your uh, recording thing now on my website it's just on the sidebar however if you have it on your website you can have a whole page on your website dedicated too but the uh, the little blue thing shows up on every page you get an extra website visit and people are spending more time on your website, which is called time on site, which makes you look better to the search engines. But if you don't have any of that, too bad. Just go to SpeakPipe, get a free account and have your own page. Even if you didn't have a website, you could put that in the signature file of your emails and send them to speakpipe.com slash and then whatever your name is or whatever you call your your uh, dedicated page to get voice messages. So it's really great for that. So audio testimonials uh, are very powerful. That's something else you can use. You can make it very easy for people to just go over and say something wonderful about you. You could you know, as a, have it as an autoresponder, a link to it. When somebody purchases something, the thank you page could say, hey, uh, as soon as you use this, and uh, we really want your your real thoughts about uh, how it did, you know, what the product did for you, whatever, then they just click the link and they can go and record something, and then you can use it on, you know, whatever. You know, make sure they you know that uh, uh, you mention that you're going to use it for promotional purposes, so people, uh, you know, don't sue you. <laughs> All right. So that's another thing: audio testimonials. Now, if you happen to have a podcast. Here's another cool thing I do with it. Oops, I should have turned my cell phone off. Unless you, if you heard that beep. So another cool thing you can do with it, if you have a podcast, is you can contact people in certain fields and in, instead of doing a full interview with them, give them a chance to get some publicity on your podcast by recording a couple minute uh, tips on their field, and they can put their contact information in it. So, for instance, I did a, a, a an insurance podcast. Well, I'm no expert on insurance. I mean, I've had my ups and downs with it over the years, the business insurance, but I'm certainly not an expert. I called, uh, no, I didn't call. I contact, I went on Facebook and I found two groups and I found an insurance sales group and I interviewed, or no, I didn't interview, that's another technique, but I asked the admin to leave some tips on this speak pipe, and then I edited it into my podcast. So I didn't have to come up with the all the information that I didn't even know, and that person got a little publicity, and guess where they put it? They Then they put that episode in their group to put me in front of a lot of people that never heard of me. And then on that same episode, I found a an association that had to do with insurance, and I interviewed one of their exec. <laughs> I keep saying interviewed. I mean, that's like I said, that's another technique I teach for podcasting. But in that case, one of the executives left a speak pipe, you know, an audio tips and, and something about insurance, and I edited that in. So I got all the material for that podcast, other than my particular stories of my you know ups and downs with insurance, through speak pipe. So it's very, very good. Uh, something that's, like I said, there's no excuse for not at least getting the free version and getting the page up on SpeakPipe site so that you can put it in your signature file. If you take the next step, you just embed the widget that they give you in your website. And then it's, you know, people can click on it and leave you a voicemail right through your website all for free. All right. Well, I know this is a short episode, but I want you to get over there and get SpeakPipe and Check out my mentor program. If you, you know, this is just one sliver of the thousands of things I teach my mentees uh, how to do, and we're on this every day, day and night. So check it out.